What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to be looking at my decks on the test server. So as you probably know, I am on the test server right now. This is where, uh, it's a, another server, not the live server, where new cards and future, future uh, developments are put on to be tested until they go on their live server. So, if you haven't seen um, my videos where I previewed... Uh, all the new cards that are coming out in the Rebellion set, then you can go check those out. And here today, I will be showing my theory crafting and my testing on what I think the four best decks are, one for each faction, that are going to be in the meta and in the rankings after the update hits the live server. So, this is just what I came up with after uh, testing matches with all these decks. And I was experimenting with new cards, old cards, seeing how things would work. And so these were the four best decks I could come up with, one for each faction. So we will begin with, uh, let's go in this order. Right here, so let's go with order. So this was the best uh, order deck I could come, come up with. Um, Three Blessing of Haste, three Focus, three Ducal Infantryman, three Flip, three Pother, three Wings Warder, three Royal Skirmisher, three Royal Spearman, three Speed, three Wing Shield, three Ducal Skirmisher, three Knight Scholar, three Wings Captain, three Royal Vanguard, three Honorable General, three Wings Cleaver, and three Imperial Resources. I think I said three Pother. It's actually two Pother. Sorry about that sound. That was an email. So, um. This isn't really that different from the right now my mono order deck on the live server before Rebellion hits. So you could probably the two cards that stand out that are new cards are Wings Warder and Wings Cleaver. Wings Warder and Wings Cleaver are two cards that are coming out. And they're really the only two cards that are coming out that I feel are strong enough to be in um in mono order ranked decks after the patch. Uh, Wings Warder is very strong versus uh, energy because it, it allow it makes your guys basically uh, they're immune to spells. Want the guys in the row that you put with Wings Warder. So you play this against energy, then energies burns, sparks, violent dispersals, thunder surges are like invalid towards you. They can't play them. So it's a huge. Uh, strength in order versus energy matches now and it also works against like decay's damage curses orders displacement spells um yeah all that stuff enchantment still works you could still like enchant your own creatures and stuff and you could still be targeted by your own spells like you could put focuses uh blessing of haste on your own units that are in line with the wings order and at only two costs and four health it's pretty good uh nice and healthy four, four health is pretty good because Three health seems to be the magic number where it's a little uh, it dies a little too easily, and two costs you can get this thing out early, and uh, it's pretty nice. And then wings cleaver, um, this guy is pretty awesome. Six costs is a lot, but hopefully you think that the uh, abilities and stats just make up for it because he is a four three five, and when you have destroyed at least one idol, he's a seven two five. So, even when you didn't destroy Nettle, this guy's okay, but once you destroy that Nettle, this guy is amazing. He's like almost like a harvester attacking every other turn. And he has more health, he is very strong. Soldier, Synergy with uh, Wings Captain, so I really like this guy. And the rest of this deck, um, pretty generic. Uh, notable omissions from the deck uh, are like, Aging Knight could be mixed in there. Uh, maybe Fleetness. I know some people play with Fleetness. I didn't use any Kabonks. I've been experimenting with those. And of all the cards here, I think Kabonk was the easiest one to take out. Because all these cards, are, I think, are a little more necessary. 33 creatures is a lot. So I'm thinking about maybe taking out a creature. But I'm not sure what. Um, I was thinking about trying to get, like, Decimation in. But there's really not much room. Manganel's not in, but Manganel's aren't in my deck on the live server either. Uh, that Ruse new card could be cool, but I'm not sure if it fits either. Um, Wing Spear, I was thinking about using it over Royal Spearman, but the two health makes it a bit too squishy. 
Gaunt Defender and Royal Spearman, I was going to have one of those guys in. But I'm not sure what I would take out. Maybe a Night Scholar, maybe a Wings Captain. But I feel like a Wing Shield and Royal Spearman is enough defense. And the Wings Rammer is just a mad card, I think. 524 is pretty good. But I can't really fit it in, as I said. Not sure what I would take out out of this pool of guys. And I have 33 creatures already. And the Order Champion, I think, is by far the weakest of the four champions that came out. And I don't really want to put it in this deck because it just... I'd rather have Wings Cleavers, Generals, Vanguards. Obviously, I'd rather have, like, this than a general on the board but this for nine cost I think I never and through testing I never really found a good time to play it I feel like I'd rather get all these units out on the board instead of just playing this one thing that just isn't really that good I'm not, not really relentless so it's not that strong so uh, it's a good unit by by any means 626 with unique not unique uh, that can't be targeted by spells and draws scrolls when it kills something but that's for 9 cost, and you could do a lot for 9 cost, and that's putting a lot of stuff into one unit. So, that's the order deck I have. This is the best I can come up with, and I think it's going to be alright. Decent. This Wings Order makes it, uh, makes it stronger than it was before, but I think the other factions got a bigger boost than Order did. So let's take a look at those. Uh, what's next? Energy. Now we have Energy. So, um... I decided that the best deck for energy would be a ranged deck. You can go kind of with energy, can kind of go two routes: structures or ranged. I chose the ranged route for this new patch because, well, just looking at the cards that energy got, it didn't really get as that many structures. The only real structure I think it got was this fulmination conduit. I could be wrong. That's all I'm thinking of. Um, and this thing doesn't work that well in structure energy. I don't think. These machine diminators, I think, lower the cancel. I'm not sure. I might be wrong about that. But and this hired smuggler could work for structure energy, but I have it in here, and I'll explain that in a second. So this is very different from the old uh, mono energy range deck. New card Ash Runner, new card Vicious Strike, new card hired smuggler, uh, new card Fulmination Conduit, new card Power Trip. New card Hired Marksman, new card Sudden Eruption, and new card Top Reaver Thea. So, and other than that, I have three Dust Runners, three Machinated, three Spark, three Bombard, three Cannonetta, uh, three Violet Dispersal, three Gerbalk Elder, um, three Burns, and three Storm Runners. So, you have 23 creatures, not that many, but all these uh, attack buffs with Machinated and Vicious Strike should help with that. Um, Vicious Strike. It's kind of like a focus. It's got, like orders focus. Like you're kind of, or it's another machinated in the deck. It's to basically get extra attacks. So, as you'd think, it's good on piercing units like Ash Runner and Canada. It's good on Storm Runner. Um, so this Fulmination Conduit gets your energy up really fast. So you can play like the uh, the Energy Champion Thea earlier. And I really like these things. So. I have uh, Hired Smugglers in the deck just so I can keep drawing them because Hired Smuggler, whenever it attacks an idol, you draw the Fulmination Conduit. Well, you draw a structure, but the only structure in the deck is Fulmination Conduit. I actually got that idea from uh, Blinky, so that's not my own idea, but it's pretty cool. It works pretty well. Um, so Vicious Strike, Machinated for buffing those guys. Uh, I mean, pretty uh, obvious. You want Bombards in range decks. Um, what else do I have to touch on? I don't love Elder at, fi at 5 drop, but Energy is receiving a 5 drop, I think. And I think it's like going to be like a 4, 2, 5 ranged or something. I don't know. Maybe this can be about better than Elder. We'll have to see. I'll have to test it out. Um, but right now, the best 5 drop in here is Elder, and I have to include it, even though I don't, I, I don't love it. Because I feel kind of weird without having a 5 drop at all. Um, Vaunt Dispersals. I have Sudden Eruption instead of Thunder Surge. Um, what Sudden Eruption does is, uh, it's basically not, it's a Thunder Surge that you have to spend more resources to do, but it's not able to be played around. So, if you, the, the four energy cost is deceiving, but if you play this when you have four, with four, when you have four energy left, 
it won't do a thing. What you want to do is you want to use this when you have a lot of energy. And then it just takes the difference of whatever energy you had, minus 4. And that number is the surge value. So it will deal uh, X number of units where X is the surge value to damage to them. So if you have a ton of energy, like 10 energy, and you could cast these on back-to-back -back turns, it's better than like Double Quake and stuff like that because you're not getting hurt. So Sudden Eruption is pretty good. Um, I love Hired Marksman. 3-3-3, three, 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 pretty bad stats right here, but this range attack, uh, range attack is good, but, um, marksman attack is amazing. It's like, on command, sparks and burns all over the place, it's awesome. You can't plop it down with a bombard, but it's still pretty cool, and I've definitely been getting a lot of use out of this guy, so I think he's there to stay. Um, burn, pretty self-explanatory, it's amazing, but with... With Wings Warders, it's hard to pull off. Same with the Mount Dispersal, but the Sudden Eruption still works. That's nice. Power Trip, uh, as you know, a lot of hype is around this card, and it's it's good. Um, card draw, if you have at least six energy, uh, get your energy much higher, so you can get this champion out earlier. Along with Fulmination Conduit, these two cards make you able to swarm the board early, and it's really cool. And you gotta have the, a lot of resource management with Vicious Strike and sudden eruption so that's cool lastly top reaver thea you haven't seen i haven't showed it um yeah it's just a monster if you get it on the board i would say it's the th it's the uh second to worst champion after k from order because the growth and decay ones are a little, a little better though but this one is only eight costs you can get it up pretty early with energies power trips and fulmination conduits and it's pillage makes you have more energy for the next turn uh, range piercing with seven attack that's like a machinated Canada so pretty good and uh, very strong so this energy range deck energy went from being the worst faction in scrolls to possibly being number one or two I think after this patch because I love these cards that energy got so now let's move on to growth All right, I'll have to show you the notable missions though um then range energy what would be i wanted to include iron whip i didn't really find a spot for it though piercing projector i was thinking about but again didn't find a spot for that uh scatter gunner to oh all these automatons could have been in the deck for like all these other guys like i could have chosen automatons instead of dust runners storm runners cannonettas but I feel like this is going to be a little bit more viable. The automaton decks with replicatons, scout automatons, uh, echomatons definitely could be a thing. I emitted a Tempest Runner, that could be cool, but I don't love it that much. Um, and yeah, and got an automaton. So that's my energy deck. And now here we have uh, growth. So the growth deck didn't change that much, like the order deck didn't change that much, it was really energy that changed the most. Um, so this top row is basically the same as my growth deck on the live server, but then this bottom row has a couple different things, by a couple, literally a couple, only two. I have striped fang bears and the growth champion. So. Well, this guy's not new, but I have him in now. Um, so, I think you know what all these things... I'm going to assume that you know what everything does. Um, I put in Striped Fang Bear because it is really awesome. Um, for 4, it's usually a 4, 2, 5. It's with Relentless. It's really cool. So, I replaced Brother of the Wolf with it. Um, and I it also replaces kind of great wolf because now you have like another big like five health creature It's a beast um, The beast does not take advantage of this deck because I don't have call in the flock. I was thinking about putting it in um, No great wolf or brother of the wolf, so it's Not really wolf themes so that means no mangy wolf. I do have a ragged wolves though because they're good with the haste um, so this deck's more about the Sister of the Owls and Jarls, both kinds of Jarls, Kinfolk Jarl and Jarl Urhald, those are, that's the new Growth Champion, pretty darn amazing. 
reminds me of the energy champion except just better both have like pillage uh, but this guy's pillage is like attack every single turn and he's like a pseudo crimson bull so I do like him a lot um, and uh, pretty normal I was thinking about not using quake but I figured you just have to use quake because I was still testing with it and it's just so important um, notable missions that I want to get in uh, Culling the flock, I think that would be more in a beast deck though with bulls and stuff. But I think this will, a kind of deck like this will be the best in the new meta. Outcast Rubble could have been cool, but I don't really think it's that good. The three countdown I think kind of kills it. I know that it has a remarkable resemblance to Ilmer Tribesman, which is really good and everybody thought it would suck. But this guy has three health, that means he's gonna die. and. You can't plop him down with a god hand, a rally, and all that, so I don't love it. Unground is cool, nice spot removal that Growth doesn't have, but I couldn't fit a, fit this card in. Maybe this could go in for, like, Sister the Fox or something. I don't know. It's a good card, definitely, to say the least. Uh, and I will still be testing with it, but when I take out one of these other cards, I feel like it's missing. So we'll see if I can fit it in, but... I don't know. Uh, Vengeful Vetter could go in for regular Vetter. I think it's very much a choice for the player now. I like ve regular Vetter more because it's very easy to plop down with the rallies, Crimson Bulls, God Hands, because it's only one cost. And the Vengeful Vetter does die when it attacks an idol twice, so you gotta remember that. But the Vengeful Vetter gives permanent growth, regular Vetter gives temporary growth. So you also have to worry about that as well. You could have both in the deck, which I would take out probably the Sister of the Fox. Oh, oh yeah, this Earthborn Mystic I tried to put in, but I think it's going to work better in enchantment decks, and this deck has no enchantments. It, it would be nice to get a 4 health, 3 cost creature in growth, because growth only has one 3 cost creature, Breaker. Well, Frostbeard sucks. But, uh, I'm not sure what enchantment to put in. I saw... I saw some people like uh, throwing verdant veils, and those are cool, and maybe even un and unground. But putting both of those cards in her and an enchantment to take out two of these cards, which I think all these cards are pretty crucial. Um, I don't see that worth it. Uh, like I said, verdant veil is cool, but I'm not sure if it fits. Uh, wetland ranger, I don't think is that great. Seed of insurgency. That could be cool to be used in this deck because of all these high cost creatures like Sister of the Owl, Kinfolk Yarl, and Yarl Urhald. So this could eventually go in. But this is the deck I feel like is the strongest right now. I'll still be testing all four of these decks and trying to revise them and change them to be the best possible deck. And I'll probably do another one of these videos right before the Rebellion patch releases. And so you could see what the four decks I'm going to start using on ranked are going to be. That definitely changed the life surfer probably also because the meta changes fast and it's just th just testing on the test server isn't really showing everything in the decks. And now let's see lastly we have decay. So decay. Decay changed a little bit. Um you could still see the the uh backbone of the deck with all these humans, ripper, tribesmen, uh, curse monger, hunter, seeker, witch doctor, and then you have your removal, uh, uh, like uh, soul steel, brain lice, um, and where is that damning curse? Oh, this is actually the version I made before that. There's supposed to be a damage curse in here. I took out one soul steel and what did I take out again? Uh no, I took out all three soul steels, I think, yeah. That's what I was using. So this was the this is the decay deck. Um So you have your removal, brain lice, uh damage curse. 
And then the new things in this deck are the Curse and the Baleful Witch. So Baleful Witch comes down and you could do it after you Bloodline Tainted the other board. Gave something Malevolent Gaze to have some nice, like another Damon Curse right here if you destroyed an idol. Uh, some board wipe here with the bloodline taint so that's really cool these combos um also works with curse monger um and put all the curse in the deck elmar hunters that are languided are still okay so that's why elmar hunter is in here and now that the case is not as prominent as like let's say something like growth and elmar hunter's massive health is nice better probably than like uh life stealer and stuff blight sea is a new card i put in this could give you a massive payout all these cards and energy for next uh and decay to for next turn which will help you to play these two more expensive things like necrogeddon was raised to seven but it's still pretty good it took out watchers and stuff because now like a necro watcher will be much harder to pull off at nine and then we have for eight the new roof flesh seamstress i think this is the best champion of all it's awesome gets you hus attacking every single turn not every turn uh, every other turn and gets your rot eaters buffed harvesters counting down so it's really cool um and i think decay will uh be awesome um so as i said these are kind of like the um my early my early decks on the test server these are subject to change um as i would guess right now after the patch hits the best deck i think will uh, i think it will be decay and then the second best deck uh i would say energy actually and then i'd go growth and then i'd go order and last that is my um predictions so far i think i'll make another one of these videos uh soon enough probably a few weeks right before the um patch hits the live server with my updated decks and stuff so I thank you all for watching. I'll continue to test these decks with uh, um, people in the test server and try to we'll try to uh, figure out what are the best uh, new cards in the new decks that are possible. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.